Doomsday's appearance in the latest Batman v Superman trailer raises a lot of questions. And I'm not just talking questions like, why is Doomsday in a Batman vs Superman film that also features Wonder Woman, and Flash, and Aquaman, and Cyborg, and probably, what are these, parademons? I don't know. No, what I'm talking about is the questions surrounding his new origin. Looking at the footage we've got, I think this can be pieced together. So come with me on this magical journey. And by magical journey, I mean video where I point to some things, and then say some things about those things. Okay, so previous incarnations of Doomsday have a fairly simple origin. He's essentially an ancient Kryptonian bioweapon who knows nothing but hate and destruction. But here, he appears to be a result of Lex Luthor doing his best Max Landis impression, which has kind of been confirmed by Landis himself, tampering with General Zod's body and any Kryptonian tech he can get his hands on. And it looks like he has a lot of it. I think it can be assumed that the Kryptonian scout ship never left the area where it crashed. That makes sense. Superman severed the control system, sending it careening through buildings before landing on a couple of other buildings, probably where it most likely remained. We don't know the limits of this Superman's strength yet, so it's very possible that he wouldn't be able to remove it. This LexCorp building looks like it could encase the entire thing, giving him unrestricted access to all of it, including the Genesis Chamber, a Kryptonian birthing matrix. Yes, it was mostly destroyed, but clearly not all of it, as you can see it being linked up to Doomsday. So with the combination of the scout ship, the birthing matrix, and what could be one of those Kryptonian droids, Max Landis, I mean Luther, would have been able to transform or even clone Zod's body to create something entirely new and horrible to destroy Superman. Even more new and horrible than Nuclear Man, who was pretty new and horrible at the time. It's weird to think that this was once new. Doomsday's sole purpose in the comics has always been to be one of the few life forms to physically match Superman. So much so that he was able to kill him. Well, it's comics, so you know, temporarily. I'd be very surprised though if they went down this route in Superman's second outing. I don't really think that would fly. And I say fly because that's a, it's a play on words because of the Superman flies. You've seen him. This one's not very good at it. But there's nothing to say that another, stronger version of Doomsday won't return in the future to finish him off. And there's those that have been suggesting that Doomsday might even evolve as the fight progresses. Getting even more protrusions, making him closer to the comic incarnation. But a similar thing was said for Ultron, and that didn't really happen. Oh, a little bit. He just, I don't know, he just kind of looked like Megatron at the end. Don't you think? Don't think he looks like Megatron? I don't know. Also, it should be considered that at the end of the day, this might not even be the Doomsday. We're just assuming he is because he kind of looks like him. I mean, people say, I look like a regular goat, but that's not to say that I am. I mean, does a goat wear clothes? Hang on, let me, let me check. Man! There are so many goats wearing clothes! Oh, I'm not special at all! Thanks everyone, now if you liked this, there's a couple of other videos I'd recommend checking out, including my full trailer breakdown, or another video done in conjunction with Couch Tomato, on the similarities between John Carter and Return of the Jedi. He's totally great, definitely check it out. Also, I have a movie slash comic slash TV podcast called The Weekly Planet, that'll also be linked below. Question though! What are your thoughts on the character of Doomsday? And do you think he'll be used effectively in Batman v Superman? If you have anything to say, please feel free to leave your thoughts below. Alright, thanks everyone. Take care.